a weapon out of the dude's hands and throwing it back at him? Oh, well, it's your emotion. That's how you do it. Okay, yeah. Windmilling people? Very satisfying. Oh, that felt good. Thanks, Spider-Man. Folks, the Feast Centers have had a rough go ever since their founder, Martin Lee, turned out to be the mad farmer known as Mr. Nate. But I believe in the Feast Centers, because I knew Mace. The brave woman who literally gave her life to keep his gold. So I was distressed to hear the Harlem branch recently suffered a damaging flood. With us is Glory, director of that set. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anyone who wants to donate to the cleanup, check out our website. It's tax deductible. Hey, Miles. This combat challenge is all about the art of the dodge. Defeat the enemies while taking as little damage as possible. Three hits, and you'll have to restart. Step into the circle when you're ready. Good luck. Three hits. Okay, got this. Let's practice the perfect dodge. Try dodging at the last possible moment. looking 
for excuses to say spectacular, so spectacular. Miles, nice work. Feels like you're picking up some new skills here. Remember, you can one hit KO enemies after a perfect dodge. Yeah, just say. Got this. And down he goes. Can't stand the heat. Get out the airborne ticket. Bada bing, bada boom. And the crowd goes wild. Try yanking guys up while you're airborne. <laughs> KO'd before his feet even touched the ground. Nice. Man, I feel like graceful. Cool. Right, Impressive airborne ballet of destruction there, Miles. Pete's right. Way more control up here. I was practically floating before you obliterated him into pixels. Good work. Beautiful airborne poetry in motion, Miles. Now that you know the secrets of... Combat, you'll do more damage while airborne. Get those bad dudes off their feet. Yeah, me, Jeff. Feel stronger already. Oh, wow. Oh, you finished all the challenges. There's nothing to do but release the super secret bonus ultimate challenge. Head to ESU if you dare. <laughs> Wow. Wow, evil laughs are so much harder to pull off than they seem. <laughs> oh, man. He's right. Do bad guys take classes in this stuff? Fun. On the very first day of class. I'll pass you into bird seat, Spider-Man! Uh, sorry, that's, that's my bad culture. Oh, we had fun with this. Vulture's old research partner, Greg Bassman, taught him yes you. Vulture tried to take Bestman out. I tried to stop him. I'll tell you what, Miles. This fight was hard. I love these stories. Always meddling, Spider-Man. Why won't you let me commit my senseless, overly dramatic crimes in peace? Feel like he's working out some stuff with this Vulture invitation. <laughs> no! No! It was 
was a tough fight, but he was weakening. Then, just as I thought I might actually win, Vulture's evil twin brother showed up to help. Well, actually, he was with me. I was exhausted. I was very wounded. Man, it felt like two vultures. Two vultures? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's get weird. How does it feel to be a metaphor for youthful and experienced? Vulture number two. Great vulture number one. I love seeing you to illustrate the importance of painting yourself during a battle. How long did Pete been making this? Hey, vulture number two. When should you buy a bird? Going cheap. Avenge me, brother! Rat! Curses! You've defeated the other me! Cry! Gat Zeus! Oh man, old tiny swears are so fun! Them! He's right! What kept me going? Seeing MJ and Harry in the courtyard cheering me on. They believed in me. So I did too. <laughs> I see what Pete's doing. Fight with the message. Mathematic structure. Spike taught me I'd always be a kid from Queens at heart, but I could carry that strength anywhere. To Manhattan, to the West Coast, heck, even to Sincaria. Weird to think, but I owe it all to an old man in a bird costume. I should really write him a thank you note. Anyway, nice work, Miles. Holographic spider training officially complete. That was some great training. Kudos to Pete on super clean combat design. Harlem has had a series of bad breaks. The attack on CJ Walker Park. Spider-Man intervened to protect the neighborhood, but he didn't do it alone. I'm here with Genki Lee, the Harlem local who helped Spider-Man save the neighborhood. It felt really good to help people out. Even better when we found out Wilson Fisk was behind it. Shutting him down is a career highlight for me. And Spider-Man. <laughs> I bet. How did you guys stumble on the conspiracy? By talking to... Squad down. 